Greetings! Welcome back to Pink Oddbird. Today what I'm here with is the 2019 Spring Hop. And I'm kicking it off this year with my video and today I'm going to be making a little, a fun little bit that you can add to any journal that you journal in or if you have a spring journal this would be, make a great addition for that. And I'm going to tell you my thinking and, and meaning behind this in just a second. If some of you may or may not remember we did a Spring Hop last year which I'll link that down below as well if you want to go back and watch last year's version but as for this year there are several of us who are participating in this hop and it's starting off with me and after I have my video up here Kim at Serene Bookworks is going to be next so make sure that you hop on over to her channel to watch her video and she's going to be linking to the next video in the hop as well. So what I've done here so far is I've just taken a piece of regular cardstock. I think that's just 65 pound cardstock and I folded it into a trifold and I just eyeballed it. Now the next thing that I'm going to start doing is I'm taking super old pages. So I have started out with some vintage book pages. They're nice and yellowed. And then here I have a pile of vintage ephemera and I'm just going to start tearing bits and pieces out of this because it's here. I bought it to use it, right? <laughs> so that's what we're going to do today. So I'm just collaging all over this piece of cardstock and I'm collaging on what's going to actually be the outside. The way that you collage on this and how much you collage is totally up to you. I kind of wanted to get a, about at least 95% of this covered up with some really old pages. And I'm just going to be using this as a, a background or a backdrop. So I'm just layering on as much as I want to. And these pages are super thin because they're so old. Now I'm coming in with a, an Edith Holden book page and I'm just going to start tearing bits and pieces of this and collaging it as well because I felt like in addition to the text pages it needed something that had a little bit of imagery. So you're probably wondering where I'm going with this. So what I was thinking is my idea for this little piece, it's just a little trifold and it's something that you can add into any of your books. And the thought process behind this is out with the old, in with the new. So I'm really taking that kind of literally by putting all of these old book pages on the outside of the trifold and then what we do on the inside is going to be something new and fresh. So it's kind of symbolic of the transition from winter to spring it's because everything from winter is kind of died off and the trees are plain and then when we start getting into spring, everything starts coming back to life. So I kind of wanted to interpret it, interpret that here. So that's kind of where I'm going with this. I'm super happy with the way this collage has turned out so far. So the next thing that I want to do is kind of wash it out a little bit with this white acrylic paint. And the idea behind that is I just want it to be sort of a faint backdrop. So it's kind of just, you can see it, but not as bold as it is currently. So just going to wash it out a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and hit this with my heat tool once I've washed it out as much as I want it to be. And then the next thing I'm going to do is cut the edges off so that there is no overhang because I want to take this over to my machine and get it stitched around the perimeter as well as a few stitches like across the actual tag because I want to make sure that all of those pages are going to stay down. Thank you. 
So as you can see here, I've taken this over to my sewing machine and I've given it some stitching around and there's no rhyme or reason to that. And I'm really happy with the way this turned out. So the next thing I want to do is obviously just give it a nice distress coat here along all the edges. I'm using vintage photo distress ink to do this. So this is what it looks like once it's all distressed. Pretty. So now it's time to get started on the inside and I'm picking some very fun, vibrant, spring-like acrylic paints. You can pick any colors that you want. I wouldn't suggest more than three because it's going gonna, it's gonna to get really fun here in a minute. <laughs> Taking it back to our childhood years and I think this is so fun because it's not something that I do very often and I just think finger painting, I'm just adding a little bit of water here and I'm blending and I'm just doing this in a diagonal fashion. There's no rhyme or reason here. I just really wanted to pop some fun and fresh spring colors here on the inside just a stark contrast to what it is on the outside because it's a very dull and old looking on the outside and on the inside I really wanted to have a fun and vibrant sort of look when you open this up like whoa that is a statement <laughs> so as you can see I'm just getting this all blended in and some of the colors as I blend them turn into other colors so that's why I also wouldn't suggest more than three colors so I'm just adding a little bit of water to my my finger here into the tag here just to help blend these out a little bit easier so it's so fun you guys and I know a lot it's some sometimes we get so caught up in not wanting to make a mess but it's sometimes fun to just go in and make a mess And I'm super happy with the way that this looks. When I flipped it over, I noticed that some paint was seeping through. And I love, again, that juxtaposition. Because even though it's really old and drab on the outside, quote unquote, winter. On the inside, you can see that there's something more fun, more vibrant, something new and fresh on the inside, something new is on the way. And so I love the way that sometimes art can tell you its own story. You don't even have to be intentionally doing something. The art will do it and tell it for you. And I loved the way that looks. So I'm taking a couple of pieces of coffee stained paper here and I'm just going to stitch these in with my machine. And the reason why I'm adding these pieces of paper in here is because I want this to be a note to yourself, like a little booklet of things that you can say to yourself and it's a private thing obviously and something that you can add into your journals and the the what the way that I was thinking of this is on the on the left hand side where that paper is maybe go in and just write down something that you intended to do this year I know we all start out with great intentions at the beginning of the year and for some reason or another everything doesn't always work out the way that we think it will so I, I would like to challenge you maybe to just on the left hand side there go in and tell yourself something that you're letting go of or something that you want to change or do differently and then on the right hand side put in some new intentions put in some positive words to yourself just encourage yourself and be kind to yourself because I think that's something that we all don't do enough of
So this is the final piece here. I just want to do one final flip through of this with you all. I hope you have enjoyed watching this and I do hope that you take the message that I'm trying to give you to heart and implement it within yourself. And definitely I do encourage you to make one of these and keep it in your journal because it's going to be very good to look back on. So don't forget to check out my buddy Kim, Serene Bookworks. She is coming up next in this hop as well as all my other friends. Link down below. That's going to wrap it up for me for now. Be sure to stay tuned because you never know what direction this odd flock of ours is heading into. And until next time, toodaloo.